Good morning. Hello, hello. Hi, everybody. Can everybody hear me? It's Donna, Donatella Bottolino. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I have my dealer here dropping off a load of inventory. So I, um, oh, it says Teresa T Books is live. Am I on T's stream yard? I might be. I don't know. Anyways, watch this, you guys. I'll be right back. I need. I need to help her bring some stuff in. I'll be right back. Good morning. Hi, guys. Thanks for coming in. Another just a spur of the moment auction by Donna. <laughs> um, I thought I'd try something different with you guys today and try that kind of like do like the whatnot style. I don't know. I put it in my title. We might just do it normal. We might do some whatnot style. I'll show you what I did. <laughs> I'll show you what I did. I set this up, all right? I set it up and I put like this little um, timer and I, it's a one minute timer. So I thought maybe we'll do some one offs of like, I've got lots of these really awesome carded games. And I thought, hmm, I don't know, maybe we'll do, uh, we'll try it that way and see what happens. But I'm going to say good morning. Good morning to my friends. Mama Beth, good morning, honey. Thank you for coming in. Mutton Ridge, good morning. T is T is not here. She is um she's got a doctor's appointment and then she's driving her husband, her husband, her dad to the airport, and then she's got some personal errands that she has to run. So she said she's gonna stop in. We'll see if she pops in. I told her to come in while she's driving around doing what she needs to do. Shriker, is this where the banger is happening? Yes, sir. Shriker, if you want to come in, um, if you're you're probably busy listing, I know it's very last minute, but if you want to come in and keep me company, it's up to you. Hi, Heidi. Heading out thrifting, going to watch and listen. All right, Heidi. Thank you. Elsie, good morning to you. Good to see you. Hi, Denise. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for coming in. And here's Christy. Hello, Melanie. I haven't um, had a chance to research what happened to your hooker shoes um well i'll figure that out today it's weird because that tracking number i must have mixed up emails for tracking numbers so it's going to take me a minute to research it but don't you fear if if they're missing and someone has them and they don't know they have them i have more i have more hooker shoes so 
don't don't worry about it hi wyoming woman welcome in pam thank you for being here and wendy good morning honey thank you so much you're always kind to sweet words from you thank you robin i got your message last night honey i read it really really quick i know you said don't respond you're out with your family i have to reread it <laughs> i read it really quick and then i saw don't respond and i was like okay i don't need to respond but i will read it today i'll take my time and read it mama beth hello hello and bolo buddies i tried calling you today she's probably like i thought you were going to the bins today donna i i did have plans to go to the bins today with my daughters um, but my family decided to leave a day early. So we went out to dinner last night and then I kind of made a big purchase this morning. So guess what? I'm on selling. So maybe the bins tomorrow. We'll see Bolo Buddies. Bolo Buddies has a bins challenge um, coming up and I'm part of it. So I need, I need to go to the bins with my daughters and we have like 10 items that we have to search for. And I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. The bins is like my least favorite place to go because I don't, I hate sorting through and finding like single items. I'd rather just buy truckloads, <laughs> but I want to do it because you know, Bolo Buddies, you guys, if you're not following Courtney, she's Bolo Buddies. So she is the ambassador of the channel <laughs> and always giving me shout outs on her channel. And I think it will be a great way for me to grow my channel to partake in the challenge. So I'm going to get it done. I have uh, another few days before I need to upload that video, but I'll do it. Don't worry, Courtney. She's probably saying, you better. I'm going to. I promise you, we will get there. Hi, Nance P. Hi, honey. You're so sweet. Moses, good to see you. Buenos dias to you, sir. Great job the other night helping all of us on whatnot. He did. He did an amazing job. Schreiker is an amazing, amazing moderator. Hey, John Beck. Good morning. Goodbye as I'm off to the dentist. Oh, John, I need to go too. I hate the dentist. Hi, Kat. It's good to see you, honey. Thanks for coming in. Hello, Andrew. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, Francine. Francine, David's going to be back in Maine pretty soon. <laughs> Just saying. If you want his phone number, reach out to me. He's a really nice guy. <laughs> I'm playing matchmaker, you guys. You're not that far from him. <laughs> Just saying. Just saying. Hi, Mel. Good morning. Resell therapy. Good morning. Good morning. I knew that was you, Donatella. You came into my whatnot sale. Did I? I was I was scrolling around on whatnot a little bit last night, and I think I recognized your name, but I wasn't sure. Did you say hi to me? I don't know how long I stayed. I was just kind of looking to see who was in selling in the category that I picked. Phyllis, good morning. First time here. Looking forward to it. Phyllis, welcome. Everybody say hello to Phyllis and behave yourself and welcome her. And Mrs. Casual Flippers, peace, greetings, and love to all. Thank you, Mrs. Casual Flipper. Great idea. You love the title? Fire! <laughs> I know, right? I just thought I'd try something different. Who knows? We'll see. Sharon, hello, hello. Yes. Yes, another one. Another another big purchase. Where, where is she? Right here. There it is. It's coming in the door right now. It's a good one. It's a good one. Uh-oh, typo? What did you typo? Don't forget to wear shoes. I know. And I don't even know if I have closed shoes. I'll have to see if one of Chezzy's pairs fit me. I don't know. Just subscribe to Bella Buddies. Thank you, Sarah. Jackie. Thank you, Jackie. Hi, Mama Beth. Hi, Michelle P. Good morning, sweetheart. All the way from Australia. No need to advertise that, Shriker. <laughs> I don't know. Sonia. Hello, hello. Megan East. Welcome in. Good brunch time. Awesome. It was Sunday. I was selling craft items and I did say hi. My channel there is Kids Lit Corner. Ah, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Hi, Peggy. How are you, darling? Welcome in. All right, you guys. 
So I had a nice time with dinner last night. Spent some time with the family, which was really great. Um, I probably won't do any shipping today. The only shipping that I really want to get out is Peggy's because she's been waiting. Hers got wrapped up and I put the wrong thing in it. So now I have to unwrap it and I just haven't gotten around to it. So hey, flipping it good. What's up, everyone? He says, what is up, everyone? Um, nope. No Massimo. He was out deep sea fishing. I told you, Mrs. Casual Flipper. He lives the life. He lives the life. But to his defense, they decided, they decided um that they were gonna leave today, yesterday. I think they were supposed to not leave until tomorrow. So he had made plans to go deep sea fishing with his friends. So my phone is whispering. Can you, get, can you guys hear it? Is it annoying? Let me see if I can fix it. Is that better? Yes, it stopped. Awesome. No, Donna, after the 15th of May, sweetie. Oh, Peggy, it's you that wants it after the 15th of May? I thought it was um, Rita Cornwall that wanted it after the 15th of May. Did Rita also say last night not to ship her things until the, after the 15th? Or was that Peggy? Was I confused? Oh, not sure if I'm going to stay there. Not a lot of success, but still trying. Hmm. Interesting. Can you still hear the whisper? You guys? Let's see if I can try to fix it. Oops, sorry, bug your ears. Okay, let's see if that helps. No, nope, it's still there. Hers was the fifth and you're the 15th. Okay, all right, Peggy, thank you. All right, um, you're leaving. You got everything right there. Thank you so much for bringing it all in. I appreciate it. Sorry, I couldn't help. My heel was broken on one of the shoes. Okay. All right, you have a fabulous day. Stay in touch. Have a good we'll do that um that time. next video. That will be awesome. Thank you. Hey, the commissioner's in town. The 15th of May is your birthday. The 14th of May is my birthday. Fellow Taurus. Hello. Hello, hello. Um yeah. So, okay, guys, did Traker answer me? I don't know if he answered me if he wants to come in or not. I don't know if he said yes or no that I invited him in. Um, so so this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to try it. I have a whole bunch of these awesome carded. Oh, thank you, Sonia. Thank you. Kelly Reseller, welcome. Oh, I didn't pop out my chat yet, so let me pop that out. All right, let's see here. I'm just taking a moment, folks. If there's anybody that's not registered to the mm -hmm. channel, please take a moment and register. Oh, restore chat. Hold on, I just closed it out by accident. Please take a moment and register. Um, T is still, um, I don't know if she's going to change it. She likes invoicing. I'm on instant pay now. Um, but it's also still nice to have a reference. Oh, he doesn't have time. Okay. Sonia, here you go, honey. Here's your wrench. Well, I appreciate um, I appreciate you hanging out in the background. Flipping it good. Donna, how was your experience? What not? Just got approved. I'm think approved. Just thinking of selling there also as auction. Well, flipping it good, to be honest with you, um, I'm going to tell you what. So I, I talked about it yesterday during the show. Um, here's my thing. My thing is, is that, um, friend, can you come in? Hello, sweetheart. I'm sorry I haven't called you. I need to call you. Will you call me after the show if you have a moment? I love you bunches and bunches. I love you, love you, love you. And I miss you so much. I miss our talks. It's my best friend, you guys, up in Massachusetts. So, um, okay. So to answer the question about, about whatnot. Okay, so I'm going to say number one. I have worked really, really hard for the past um, three years 
to three plus years actually to build my YouTube channel as a selling. What time is the show over? About one ish, one thirty ish, something like that. But you can come in if you want. Go brush your hair and come in and keep me company. I would love for you to come in. Um, so, okay. So back to whatnot. I, I have spent a very long time building my clientele here on YouTube and I love my YouTube family and I love coming on YouTube and I love selling my finds. And I also love buying in huge quantities and selling in huge quantities. Like today I'm going to try doing like every once in a while, you'll see me do like one offs. If I have like designer pocketbooks, designer shoes. Um, sometimes I'll do like $5 Friday where I do like $5 starts. So I, I do do, do do I do do I do one offs but my business model is to do large quantities of stuff for my resellers to be able to resell what not is mostly geared to people that want to buy like single type items and that's great you know um I know like some of the sports card people. I even bought some sports cards. I, I bought some sports cards from Cincinnati Picker from my mailman. They were um, Miami teams, I think, uh, Florida teams, maybe football. I don't even know what it was. It was just, I saw, I saw Florida and I just, I bought them. There was three of them, I think, from Cincinnati Picker. He was doing like single, two pieces, three pieces, that sort of thing. So I think for that kind of like platform for people to sell like individual, um, hey Steph, hello, welcome in. Oh, that's awesome. Um, I think it's, you know, I think it's an okay platform. For someone like me, where I buy, like I said, I buy entire states, I buy truckloads of stuff. To me, I would rather just blow the stuff out in one big bundle to the resellers and you guys make the money on it. Does that make sense? Um, I was a little bit uncomfortable in the beginning when the show started, but then I started to get a little bit more comfortable with it towards the end. And I couldn't help but to want to like pile a whole bunch of stuff on the table and sell it in one big lot. You know, I, I don't want to sell comics for 10 15 $25 each. I want to sell 75 comics for $150. And if you find three comics in there that are worth, you know, what you paid for the whole lot, well, bless your heart. Like, that's what I'm all about. So I don't think that whatnot is a really good fit for my business model and for what I like to do. However, with that being said, um, YouTube could pull the rug out. Like this is T's words, not mine. Um, T could pull the rug out from live auctions on YouTube at any time. And, um, so it's good to have another form or another stream of income. Oh, thank you, Callie. Let me go over and wrench Callie. All right. There's your wrench, honey. So like today, I think that the stuff that I'm going to be selling, um, if you are on whatnot, you probably could go on whatnot because it seems like there's a lot of like comic book people on whatnot and um, superhero people and, you know, those kind of people. So you could definitely source from me and then take it over to whatnot and potentially three times or four times your money because I don't have that clientele. Hi, Stacy May. Yes, and whatnot also, interesting point, Striker. So what whatnot also has, it, it works out to be about 11% commission that you have to pay them to use their platform. Where here, I, I, I don't have to pay a commission. Um, I, I do have to pay YouTube 30%. If people watch my video or if you give me a super chat, I have to pay 30%. And I don't have a problem with that. That You'll hear people complaining about um, the percentage that, that YouTube takes. And I just, I always say, good morning, Jill. Heading to Tallahassee for, oh, Kirsten's graduation. Awesome, Jill. Awesome, awesome. Congratulations, Mama. Job well done. 
8% to whatnot, two and a half percent plus $30 processing. Yeah. So, and shipping. And my customers are paying shipping over on whatnot. I did my first whatnot, right? So people had to pay shipping where I offer free shipping. I've upped my shipping to $40 minimum purchase, you guys. So your things might sit on the shelf for a little bit longer. And I, I've said this several times, shipping fees have gone way, way up. I still offer free shipping on everything. So um, I am going to up it to, you have to spend $40 with me to get your items Um Um, it's only fair, right? Because it costs me a lot of money for shipping. You could do lots on whatnot, but since the only option for shipping is USPS, it would be too expensive for the buyer. There is no flat rate option. Exactly. Mrs. Casual says 10 bucks super chat. You take seven. YouTube takes three bucks. Yes. Hi, Dolly Doo Doo. Welcome in. T's not here, honey. You just got me but she might stop in. She might stop in. And Jill, I might have to go to Tallahassee next week. If my daughter wins, they have two, they have two games that they have to win. If they win the next two games, then we're in the um, regional, I think it's called. And I'm going to have to go all the way up to Tallahassee, which is a, it's a hike for me. I'm all about road trips. So I'll just calm down and just go. I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't want to go to Tallahassee. I said to T, I said, if I'm going to go to Tallahassee, another six hours, I'll be, I'll be able to come to you. <laughs> I'll be so close. Forty dollars free shipping is very reasonable with all the increases lately. Thank you, Vintage Memories. Thank you for understanding. I really appreciate it. I do, guys. I mean, I know some of you are like, oh, my gosh, look at how much she's getting for this or she's getting for that. Like, if you saw my 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 daily shipping expenses and guys, if you're if you're not using if you're shipping and you're not using, you should use uh, credit cards that earn you points. Make sure you do that because um, that's what I use to earn points back. But my daily shipping is in the hundreds four or five hundred dollars a day in shipping. It's when you do the volume that I do, you know, I'm on almost every day, right? I'm going back to work. Give a shout out if you need something dropped. All right, Shriker, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. So what do you think? Should we try it this way? Fabioso, hello, hello. Points or cashback? Both. I use my Discover. So you can use it for airfare. You can use it to pay your bill. Or you can use it for, what's the third option? Airfare pay your bill, or you can just grab the cash, I think, and deposit into your bank account. I use my Discover card. Shipping isn't cheap anymore. I do about 200 in a week for shipping. I do about 200 in two hours. <laughs> it's crazy. Hi, Gail. It really does make sense, Donna, for you to raise the amount to afford for free shipping. USPS went up in their rates, so why not you as well? Yeah. You can have a check mailed to you with Discover. Oh, yeah. Okay, thanks. Yeah, I haven't touched that money. I'm just letting it accumulate um, because I'd like to go to my high school reunion in um, November up in Boston. So maybe I'll use the money for that that I'm earning. It will be nice. Okay. 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 You can have a check. Okay. Yeah, I read that. All right. So this is how I'm thinking about doing it. Let's see if it works. I'm just going to try it. If it doesn't work and you guys don't like it, then we don't have to do it. Okay. So this is what I'm going to say. So shipping is free with a $40 purchase. I will hold your things on the shelf until you get to $40. Okay. And then I'll ship it out. Um, I am instant payment. Please utilize the the description, um, the comment section of the um, PayPal account. And if you could write, and if you don't remember which lot it was, just ask me lot number one, lot number two. You don't even have to write what the description is. If you're a fast typer and you want to write it, bless your heart. But even if you just put, even if you just put lot number one, that's that's good enough for me. 
No, I think T's still at 30. She didn't make a decision yet. She didn't make a decision. Schreiker, thank you. Okay, be sure to be on live chat, you guys, not top chat. Let's go all do it together. I'm going to do it right now. Um, click on top chat and then click on live chat, and you will see the comments firsthand. The bidding increments, $2 to $50, then $5 increments up to $100. Um, so that's our normal auction, but the way I'm doing it today, I'm going to accept $1 increments or you can put in, if you see something that you really like and the bid is at $5 and you're like, oh, heck no, I want it for 10, feel free to put $10 in because sometimes that discourages everybody else in the chat to bid on it. Just saying. It's called a proxy. It's how I win storage units. I There's a lot of people that buy storage units that will never use proxies. Like I've talked to... Um, there's, I'm not going to mention names, but there's a couple of people out there that I talk to that they say they never use proxies. I do proxies. I put the highest amount I'm willing to pay. And a lot of the times I walk away. Um, if I want it really, really bad, then I will go up above my proxy. But for the most time, for the most, in most cases, I do my proxy. Um, please say out if you're out and done bidding, you can come back in if you change your mind. Um, there's free shipping. Thank you for changing that for me. $40. Buy or pay shipping on international orders. You guys, I will ship anywhere in the, uh, in the world. I have customers in the Netherlands. I have customers in Canada. I have customers in Australia. You just reach out to me and I will give you a shipping quote. Um, just, I always say, don't forget, um, in addition to your shipping quote, you will have a customs charge on your end. I don't know what the customs charge is, um, but you will have a customs charge. Um, this is an as is auctions, you guys, no refunds, no returns. Of course, um, unless of course the item arrives broken or, you know, not as described, like I'm going to show you if something is the, if, is broken or if there's a pin missing on a pin, I'm going to show you. Um, if it arrives broken, please don't throw away the packaging um, because I will put a um, claim into the post office um, to get my money back because I've given, I've, I've, I haven't done that before. And I, I still have never done it, but I will start. I've never put a claim into the post office, but last year I gave away hundreds of dollars in a broken merchandise because I didn't want to teach myself how to put a claim in. But from here going forward, I will. I would just give you a credit to the auction. I'm not doing that anymore. I'll be putting claims in. Um, please don't put comps in the chat, you guys. It hurts the person that's bidding. Payments due right away. We're going to be using that email address. That might change next week. I'm not sure. I haven't been making some changes. Um, the great, great part about Dono, you can leave stuff till we hit 40. We appreciate the trust. Uh, thank you. Okay. You guys make sure you subscribe. Anybody who's new, thank you, thank you. I watched you but didn't have hours every day to watch every auction. I still have $150 credit with you and would love if you could do a custom buy it now bundle for me. Another platform is not for me. All right, Veranda, um, you let me know what you want me to do and I will put together a bundle for you. Email me or text me. I make my... I make my phone number readily available. Have fun all. Sadly, can't stay. Super bummed. Oh, honey, have a nice day. I'm sorry that you can't, that you can't. Yes, power bed casual. Um, and guys, the other thing too that I ask, and I say this quite often, if you're looking for a package, if you don't have a package, if you have a question about a package, if you have a question about an order, if there's something sitting on the shelf here, try to refrain from asking me during the auction. It throws me off um, because then I have to like go look. I make my phone number is right there, 561-768-3585. I answer all my calls and I answer my text messages. So just read out, reach out to me. If you're not a phone person and you don't like to talk on the phone, 
email me. There's my email address. Um, okay, Veranda. Very good, honey. Um, that's all I ask is that you do that because it's just, you know, it's, it, it's very distracting to me when someone says I'm looking for my package and I can't find it. Did you mail my package yet? I, I, I just, I would much rather just you contact me on a personal level. And then the other thing that I want to say, and I'm going to keep saying this until this person comes back, Tammy, Tammy's passions. If you're watching, I want to publicly apologize for you for a mistake I made the other day when I didn't retract the sold when you came in before the sold. There was a confusion. I was doing the one, I was doing the countdown from 10 to 1, and then I switched it up and did going once, going twice. I should have removed your, I should have removed the sold and given you a chance to bid. And that was a mistake that I made. I want to publicly apologize to you. And I hope that you come back to the auction. I'm human. I make mistakes. Sometimes when I'm selling by myself, mistakes happen. Good morning, Heather. Um, so I just want to say that. And if I do make a mistake, you guys are really good with the holding up the hand and the stop. Um, if I call the wrong person, want something, just a little grace, you guys, just a little bit of grace. I'm only human and I do this every day. And even though I do this every day, you would think I would have it down pat, which I feel like I do, but I still make mistakes once in a while. So just hang in there with me. We'll, we'll always try to figure it out and make it fair. Glad you're staying here. Can't handle that other place. Way too buggy and gives me stress and anxiety. Of course, Ozma, I wouldn't leave you, honey. Do I need to register here? I did on T's channel. No, Andrew. Welcome, honey. Thank you so much. I will give you a wrench. Thank you for coming over. You're awesome. There's T. T, you going to come in, honey? Thank you, Schreiker. She's like, oh, and good morning. All right. Did I cover everything? I think I did. Anybody have any questions? For those of you that are new, hi, I'm Donna. <laughs> I come to you from the beautiful Palm Beaches of Florida. And I have incredible things to offer you. As a matter of fact, I'm getting ready to do like another little mini interview. Thank you everyone that watched that video and made all of those comments. And she, it, she read every single one of them and was absolutely thrilled. She absolutely loved all of the comments. So thank you everyone that took the time to to make all those gracious comments. And she's actually sending the video to um, her grandchildren and her children. And she's so excited that she has that archived um, for her kids to be able and her grandkids to be able to watch in future years. So she was very, very, very pleased with the outcome of the video. And she was so excited with um, reading all of the comments. And she's 86, actually. That woman was awesome. Sorry, I missed that stuff at auction. No, Ozma, I still have some. I still have some of the lingerie and I still have some of the shoes. Debbie, hi, Debbie. Debbie, I, good morning, Ellen. Good morning, finding... Finding Keepers Resale. That was a great video. What a beautiful, classy lady in a beautiful lingerie. I stayed there. So what happened was my daughter needed to go do something and she needed she needed my truck to go do it. So I, I brought my daughter with me and I said, it's just going to be a quick in and out. It's literally going to be, I'm going to just pay her, grab the stuff and I'm going to go. Well, when I walked in and I saw all the shoes lined up on the on the dining room table and I met the woman and she started talking to me. I was in such awe with her. I said to my daughter, I said, first I said to the woman, is it okay if I stay here for like two hours? <laughs> and she's like, absolutely. So I said to my daughter, go do what you need to do and come back and get me. So I sat there for two hours and listened to that woman's stories way beyond what you guys heard on recording. Like I got to hear about all her trips and all of the famous people that she used to like hang out with. And it was really awesome. 
the house that you went to buy the shoes and the clothes was amazing. She was a beautiful woman and loved her career. She did. She, she was so passionate. She was so passionate. And she loved just, you know, talking to me about it. It was awesome. She also was, um, she also was, I'll have to find out for you for sure, but she was CEO of Billboard magazine. I mean, she ran a lot of companies. As a matter of fact, I asked if she had any Billboard magazine ephemera that I would love to do another story um, on her about her career with Billboard magazines, but I I don't think she has anything. But that would have that would have made for a really great story too. T says hi, Francine. Thanks. Not too bad today. Dad's taking. Dad's taking. T taking dad to breakfast now and then to get some souvenirs he wants to take back and the airport and then the neurosurgeon yeah yes that's my favorite part of thrifting is meeting the people and hearing their wonderful stories they teach us so much about life right hi d hewitt did i say hi to you honey good morning Bernadette, what a beautiful person she is and an unbelievable resource of information. I could have listened to her for hours, too. Thank you, Bernadette. I did listen to her for hours. I enjoyed it immensely because I was like, I was running like a lunatic that day. And I was able to just kind of like just step back for a minute and just sit and enjoy her. And it was just awesome. Good morning, Moni. Good morning, honey. Oh, she loved people and was a people person. Absolutely. Oh, I bet she could be very feisty. Absolutely. She can be. Absolutely. All right. Come on, you guys. Let's let's start this. All right. So you guys know all of the rules. We're going to do this. And I, and I think instead of me counting it down, I'm literally just going to tip this upside down. And this is a minute, so a minute might be too long, but let's give it a shot. If I stay on for an hour and can sell, you know, 60 individual things. So once I spin this around and I put the little black thing around it, you can start bidding on it. And I'll show you what it is. So this is um, Light Wing. Robin has become Light Wing with Superstar. Launcher Legends of Batman. Hi, Kyle. Good morning. How are you? Hi, Carrie, if you're watching. And I'll show you the back of it. And let's do this for a, how about a $5 start? $5 start on this. And I don't know what they're worth. So I don't even know if $5 is too much. Is that too far away? How's that? Five dollars start. And if this doesn't work, we'll go back to my my business model, which is um all right, we've got Andrew at five, and the clock is almost over. If anybody else wants to come in, and we are going to be sold to Andrew for five dollars. All right, Andrew, lot number one. Now, listen, I'm on, on, I'm on immediate pay. So, Andrew, if you want, if you have a paper and pencil and you want to wait until the end, that's lot number one, $5, and send me the money, which is the numbers, all at once, you can do that. Or you can send it individually. And this is um, Legends of Batman. All right, we'll do a we'll do a couple like this. See how it goes, and if it goes well, then um, did you want to speak to me? Yeah, um, are you gonna come by to say goodbye? I thought they were coming by here. Are they? Yes, they said they were gonna come by here and get the kids because the kids' stuff was here. Oh, I was gonna. Go That's why I went live I was because. Go drop them off. Oh, you're gonna go drop them off. See if Uncle David and Nana can come by here. Since I'm working, right. tell Uncle David to just, you know, swing by the cottage. Okay, so this is lot number one. Change of plans again, right? 
Okay. So this is number one. Let's see. I need to get a bucket. You're not saying goodbye to me right now. I know we're gonna come back. And okay, say goodbye. <laughs> because I want to because I I want to say goodbye to Uncle David and to Nana too. Yeah. The plan was that they would come and buy here. That's why I I decided to go live. Tell Bo not to tell, tell Bo not to drive away. I've got to give her something. You guys, hold on one second, please. Taking care of uh, business here. Here, I'm gonna put this on the screen while um, I take care of some business really quick. Um, let me take this off. Let's see, I will all lots one and some payment finished if that's okay. Yes, absolutely. Okay, that's the next one. Hold on, I need to take care of something with my daughter. There's your timer, and I'll be right back. And do you guys want to hear music? I can play this. Tell me if that's annoying. Hold on, give me one minute. Okay, what do you think about the music? Sold, sold, sold to Andrew for $5. Do you hate the music? Guys, tell me. All right, lot number two is to Andrew for $5. And this one is Superman. Please, no music. Hi, Heather. All right, honey. It's gone. All right. Let's get rid of this one. And let's do this one. This one is Star Trek. And the next generation. I'm going to flip this around. Tag this one. Beats. We don't have to have music. Okay, this is lot number two. The one up here is lot number three. Highest bid gets it. Star Trek, the next generation.
Hold on, I need to figure out what I did with Andrews. I don't know. Oh, I got it. Okay, let's see. Is it done? It's done. All right, we've got Debbie at 12. We're sold. Okay. Thank you, Debbie. Your lot number three, Debbie, $12. Okay, we'll blow through some of these and then I'll do some more single items. This one's called Spawn. Let me show it to you on this screen. It's this one, Spawn. It's big, it's a big one. Okay, I'm gonna put it on the table, I'm gonna Set the timer. There's your spawn. How's that? Five dollars start on the spawn. Mel comes in at ten. Andrew's at 12. Mel comes back in at 13. What do you think? Guys, let me know in the chat what you think of this. Do you like me doing it this way? I think most of you like what I like to do is do them in big lots, right? But this way, kind of like if somebody's a collector of spawn stuff, you know, you get you get to buy this. I'll see likes it. Thanks, Lice it. Oh my God, that thing is ugly, right? It is. Mel's at 16. All right, we're sold. Once I put sold in, you're done. Mel gets it for 16. Lot number four, Mel. Plus you don't pay fees, plus I don't pay fees, plus um, you don't pay shipping. It's a win-win, right? Don't you think? I like the one-minute auction to move things along, but lots and lots of things are awesome too. Thank you. Yes, I like big lots, but I think it's nice for a variety for everyone. Right, Wendy? Super win-win. Yay. That's awesome. Is Spawn a good one? Okay, here's the next one. This one is called Big Big Blast Mage, the Super Defined Premium Series. And that's this one. Let's see if I can get this to stand up on here. Yes, I can. $5 start. I'm going to start the clock. Do you like my clock? <laughs> Do you like my clock? It came out of a game. I said to T this morning, I want to try this. I don't know what to do. I don't even have, I don't have a kitchen timer. I was going to try to see if there was like a little counter that I could put um, on the screen somehow 
but I didn't have time to look. I was running around and then I got that unexpected call. I don't even know what's over there, you guys. I know there's some coach. I'm going to I'm going to bring some. I'm going to bring some I have coach pocketbooks over there and I think there's some clothes too. So I don't even know. We're going to go look. We're going to go look together and, and see what's what new stuff I just got in. One minute to win it. Yeah, that's what um, that's what what the hails used to do. But I don't know. All right, we've got Andrew at five. It's going down. It's going down. It's going down. This is what it is. Francine's excited for her coach. Did it get sent out yet, Francine? I don't even know. Okay, are we done? Yes, we're sold. We're sold, sold, sold to Andrew for $5. Lot number five, Andrew. And this guy is called Mage. Okay. All right, coming up, lot number six. Let's get rid of this. Oh, she says, oh, my coach. I'm so excited. I thought you meant, oh, my coach. Like my coach, like you got it, like you bought a coach. Okay. This next one is Catwoman. Batman Returns. Batman Returns. Looks like it's in pretty good shape. And it's Catwoman. Right? There's the back of it. And it's a $5 start. Let's put it right there. And let's flip this around for Catwoman. $5 start. Andrew comes in at five. Thank you, Andrew. Anybody else want Catwoman? With whipping arm action and tassel gun. You guys, you're sleeping on it. This is fire. Do I have to use those words? Not really, right? Because I'm not on whatnot. Jonathan Alfaro. Hello, my friend. Comes in at seven. Welcome, welcome. Andrew's out. Jonathan is at seven for Catwoman. And we are sold. Timer's out. Sold, sold, sold to Mr. Jonathan. And he paid $7 for it. Lot number six, Jonathan. Banger right here. <laughs> Hi, Anthony. <laughs> right? Okay. Let's see what we have next. How about Spider-Man? Web of Steel. Die cast metal. This is what it is. Packaging looks great. Ah, Except for that side. <laughs> I didn't even notice this. Looks like someone took a big rip out of it. Superman versus Venom, Venom with a special collector's stand. $5 start on this one. Let's flip this around. And there you have it. Must be raining in Missouri. Why? What's Shrieker saying? No idea. Andrew comes in at 10. This is going to be law number seven.
Oh, because I mow. Oh, that's why he's saying it. Okay, anybody else? We've got a $10 bid on the board. Let me know, let me know, let me know. Spider-Man Web of Steel. And just a few seconds left. If there's any sh snipers, we're going to sell it. It's going to be sold. Sold, sold, sold to Mr. Andrew. All right. Thank you, Andrew. All right. Coming up next. Flash Gordon. Flash Gordon. Flash Gordon. But it's a girl. Flash Gordon was a boy, wasn't it? Princess Thunder roars across the sky on her air sled. Five dollars start. Flash Gordon. Hi, Susan Arrington. Welcome in, honey. Andrew, that was lot number seven, honey. Lot number seven. This is the first year in history of mowing that people are giving me a raise without asking for it. Oh, congratulations. That's awesome. We are on lot number eight. And we've got Jonathan at five for Flash Gordon. Andrew comes in at six. W, just one second late. I guess I could put the whole screen on. You don't need to be seeing me as well. And it's sold, you guys. It's sold, it's sold. I'm getting ready to put sold in the chat. And the first person to come in at six was Andrew. Andrew gets it. Andrew, lot number eight. For six dollars. And it's Flash Gordon. You like seeing me, Jonathan? You're so sweet. <laughs> All right, I'll put me back on. Okay, here's an X Man. Okay, hi. <laughs> All right, hold on. Let me do it this way. Okay, this one is an X Man, the Uncanny X Man X Force Marvel Comics. Looks like it's in pretty good condition, and it's a Grizzly. $5 start on this dude. $5 start. For the X-Man. I don't know if my phone is crooked or if the, the thing is crooked. Let's see. How to straighten it out. No, we don't want the light on. Too much reflection. Jonathan's at five. You still got time on the clock. This is going to be lot number nine. For the X-Man, the Uncanning. Andrew comes in at six. Jonathan comes in at seven. Andrew comes in at nine. There's still time left on the clock. Going to get ready to write sold. Put your highest bid in because it is going to be sold in now. Jonathan came in at 10. Thank you, Jonathan. Lot number nine, Jonathan. And this one was X-Men. 
X men. I always thought it was X man. It's X men. All right. How about this Chubba Wubba? X man force. Look at him. X man force. He had too much dinner last night. Ooh, he's ugly. Ooh, look at his Chubba Wubba legs. X-Men Force by Marvel. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Veranda. You too, honey. Have a nice day. Container is in good condition. Right, Mama Beth? <laughs> too much dinner last night, like me. I had too much dinner last night, too. I hadn't, I all I had was like two hard boiled eggs. Oops. And last night when we went out to dinner, I was starved. Okay. All right, ready? Five dollars start. There's your timer for Chubby. Who's gonna win Chubby? X Man Chubby. Thank you, everyone, for coming in. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up, you guys. If we can get to um, 100 thumbs up, I'll do a giveaway before I go off. I'll do a nice giveaway. All right. We've got Andrew and Jonathan duking it out. Jonathan comes in at 9. He's power bidding. He's like, I want that X Man. This is lot number nine. Looks like me. <laughs> Does it, Kyle? Don't worry, Kyle. Looks like me, too. <laughs> You're chubby. I'm voluptuous. <laughs> All right. Are we done? Yes. We're going to be sold. Sold, sold, sold. I have to pay attention to the clock. And Andrew won it for 10. Thank you, Andrew. Wait, yeah, Jonathan was at nine. Andrew won it for 10 for Chubby. Andrew, are you a reseller or are you a... Um, a collector? You don't have to answer that question if you don't want to. I'm just curious, but you do not need to answer it. All right, Chubby goes to Andrew's house. Let's see what else we got here. Spawn. Ultra action figures. Todd McFarlane's. McFarlane toys. Sam and Twitch. Oh, you're a reseller? Awesome. That's great. So I hope you're getting some good margin on these. All right. $5 start on Chubby. And skinny. Hi, Mia. Welcome in. There's your timer, guys. Um, Jonathan, I'm doing pay now. So um, you can wait until the end and pay it now. If you're not keeping track, I am. So I can give you the total at the end. Hi, Vintage Barbie. Welcome in. Jonathan's at five for Spawn. This is lot number 11. Thanks, Vintage Barbie. Is that a donut in the kit? A donut? I don't see a donut. It's almost running out. If you're done and done, Andrew comes in at six. It's done. And this is lot number 11 for spawn. And it's sold for six dollars to Andrew. All right. Oh, 
All right, Andrew, good job. X-Man. This guy here. Marvel Comics. What do you think? Eric the Red with super metallic armor. All right, there's your next one. $5 start on that. There's your timer. This is going to be number 12. Your bolo on Courtney's video was so cool. I love that you gave someone a bolo. Um, the That uh, Christopher Radko ornament, I haven't watched Courtney's video yet. That was an, that was amazing. Like that, I was at the storage unit. That sat on the screen for like, because I was hel helping empty empty the truck that had arrived. And that sat on the screen for like 10 minutes. No one looked it up, including me. No one looked it up. And, um, and I don't remember who bought it, but she got it at such a great deal. I had no idea what I had. All right, clock's running out. It's almost done. I'm going to be saying sold. Sold, sold, sold to Mr. Jonathan Alfaro for $7. Lot number 12. Yeah, that was an awesome. So, you, you know, you can definitely get bolos here at the auction. People have gotten some amazing bolos from me. Here is the Adventures of Batman and Robin Duo Force, and it's Mr. Freeze. Mr. Freeze action figure. The Adventures of Batman and Robin. Okay. I'll put it on the table, and I'll start the clock. I know you guys, are, some of you are like, what happened to the makeup and the clothes and the pocketbooks, the shoes and the crafts? <laughs> Today she's playing with action figures. I just got a huge load of these, a huge load. So I'll just do some this morning and then we'll do some another time. Lot number 13, friends. Jonathan, this is Man Cave Hour with Donna, right, Jonathan? Pamela came in at 7. Jonathan's at 8. You still have a little bit of time left. Don't forget, you can power bid. If it's something that you love, or you know somebody's going to love it. All right, it's getting ready to empty out. I'm going to be pressing sold right now. Jonathan gets it for eight. Thank you, Jonathan. Jonathan, tuned in on a good day. Stuff that you like. Don't get to see you very often. But thank you for coming. I appreciate it. Um, this one is Iron Man. Marvel Comics, Iron Man. Whirlwind with the whirling battling action. These are a treasure, right, you guys, to find all of these? Look at this. Okay. Harry, welcome. You're always working while lurking. <laughs> I know you tell me that all the time, but it's nice to see you active in the chat. I'm good, Harry. How are you? I heard that you got sick and couldn't come into the country or some crazy story like that. I hope you're back in the U.S. beautiful of A. All right, Iron Man. 
I am your man, boys and girls. It's fire. Don't sleep on it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's fire. We're Saxton. I need her to write some of the words in the in the um. YouTube is lagging. Uh-oh. Hit the little wheel at the top and refresh. I'm in quarantine on an island in the Caribbean. I'm hoping to leave Saturday. Oh, Harry, I heard that. T told me. Well, I guess it's not so bad if you've got to be quarantined on an island. Okay, we're getting ready to close this one. Do I have a bid on this one? I don't think so. Oh, Fabioso's at 10. Oh, no. Was he bidding 10 on the last one? Andrew's at 5, and it's going to be done. Andrew's going to get it for 5. Andrew, this one is lot number 14. Andrew, Andrew. That was for Mr. Freeze. Okay. Sorry, honey. I hope you're refreshed now. Okay. Here is another Iron Man. This one is Tony Stark. Tony Stark, Iron Man, Marvel Comics. And that's his armor, I guess as seen on Marvel, all right? The top of it is a little bent. You can see, you might be able to straighten it out. And just so that you know, these are a little bit dusty, not so, so bad. Like, you know, you can see my hands are just a little bit dirty. They're not terrible, but they are a little bit dusty. And $5 start and the clock has started. Oh, you're not allowed out, Harry. Oh, I hope it has a balcony like Kyle said. Jonathan comes in at five. Oh, no, he's bouncing off the walls. I'm sorry, Harry. Just try to catch up on some Lifetime movies. <laughs> Watch some love stories, Harry. Are you there by yourself? Or is your wife with you, your family with you? Pam's at seven. You got me singing Black Sabbath, I am Iron Man, Gail, <laughs> right? <laughs> Lifetime movies. I used to watch those when I was pregnant all the time. Debbie comes in at eight. We're running out on the clock. I'm going to hit sold. Anybody want to come in? Looking for a power bed and we are sold. Sold, sold, sold to Miss Debbie Whitney, number fifth. Ooh, Fabioso came in. Fabioso came in before the sold. He did. I'm sorry, Debbie. He came in before the sold. Let me see what it shows on uh, YouTube. Yep, it shows Fabioso came in before the sold. Hi, Demetrius. Yep, he sniped it. Dang, she writes. Oh, well. Okay. So Fabioso gets lot number 15 for nine dollars. Um, and Fabioso, if I remember correctly, I think I owe you like two or three little Star Wars. You bought a bunch of Star Wars containers and some of them were empty. Is that right? Fabioso, was that you? I have to find them because I had some put aside for you. Just don't know if they ended up down at the mini storage. Mm -hmm. But if I can find them, I'll send them to you with this order because I, I pulled some. Yeah, I'll text you later. Yeah, I have them for you. I have them for you. Mm -hmm. um, Pam, you're lagging. Can someone tag Pam and let her know that she's lagging for me, please? Okay, so this goes to Fabioso. For nine dollars. All right. Yeah, I had pulled some aside when you told me that 
there were these like little Star Wars um, toys that he bought and I didn't open every single container. And the person I bought them from told me that they were all full and apparently they weren't. Okay, next we have Star Trek, The Next Generation. And Dr. Beverly Crusher is who she is. And it's Star Trek. There's Saxton. Saxton, I need you. I got fire. I got fire, Saxton. Look at, I'm doing a whatnot style sale. All right, ready? And here's my timer, Saxton. I know, it's kind of old fashioned, but it's okay. It's working. All right, you've got one minute. And this one's going to be lot number 16. And I will switch it up with some other stuff, ladies. I promise for those of you that are not into action figures, I just want to um, blow out of, I want to blow through this one case that I have here. And this is lot number 16. Star Trek, $5 start. Jonathan comes in at five. There's a lot of people sleeping, Saxton. I need you to make comments in the chat that this is fire. Come on, man. Come on. There's no other bits. Come on, man. <laughs> All right, we're going to be selling it. The timer is done. Paste. Click. Fabioso gets it for $6 for the Star Trek. Ooh, Jonathan, you were one second late. Sorry, Jonathan. All right. Number 16 on that one. Ah, uh, look at who it is. It's Licking Dino. He really licks. It's a Flintstones. Lick, link, licking Dino. And apparently he really licks. I don't know. He's got his bone, he's got his bowl, and he's got his half-eaten piece of meat. <laughs> Is Christopher in the chat? Good morning, Christopher. Okay, Flintstones, one minute on the clock. There you have it. Who wants the Flintstones? $5 start. Lot number 17. It's kind of like whatnot, isn't it, you guys? Isn't this like, like, like whatnot? Isn't it? Isn't it? Who thought of that one? Lick, licking Dino? I don't know. All right, we've got Jonathan at five. And we still have time on the clock. Any snipers out there? Thank you, Debbie. <laughs> this is Christopher. This is my version of whatnot. <laughs> right, so... <coughs> get to hang out with my YouTube family. And, um, oh, Christopher likes licking Dino. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> Aw, thank you, Mia. I appreciate it. <laughs> you guys are great. Okay. Oops, clock's done. Ready? Sold. Sold, sold, sold to Mr. Jonathan Alfaro. I'm going to start getting sassy now because the coffee's going to start kicking in. It's fire, says Saxton. Wait, how much did you win this for? Hold on. Number, oh, wait. Uh, oh, Jonathan was, oh, Christopher came in for 10. He sniped it. We're just going to call this licking, not Dino, just licking. I see that, Pam. I see it. I see it. All right, that was number 17. 
Next, we're going to do Batman and Robin. -na 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 -na. I used to hate it when my, my brothers used to make me watch Batman and Robin. Cheryl, you're lagging. Can someone, ta can someone tag Cheryl for me, please, and tell her that she's lagging? Sniped for the liquor. <laughs> Christopher. Christopher's fresh. Uh-oh. She's lagging. Can someone tag her? Oh, thank you, Jonathan. Yes, she's lagging. Okay, here's the next one. Batman and Robin. Da -na 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 -na. Oh, Bane. Oh, wait, that's not Batman and Robin. That's Bane. From the movie Batman and Robin? I don't know who Bane is. You guys probably do. See, that's the bad part about this stuff. Like, I don't even know what I'm selling. Okay, the clock started. You have a minute. You have a minute. You have a minute. This is lot number 18. Lot number 18. Jonathan comes in at five. You got me rolling, Donna. Fabioso. Go Fabioso. Go Fabioso. Go Fabioso. Fabioso, you never come into the chat either. I think you I think maybe sometimes you lurk also. I don't know. I'm not sure. But it's nice to have you here, honey. Good to see you. Bane. Bane is this one. Andrew's no, Fabioso's at six. It's almost done. The clock is almost done. I'm going to press so. Put your highest bid in. This is your last chance. Ready, ready, ready. It's done. Who gets it? Fabioso. Oh, look at all you late people. Dang. Fabioso wins. For six dollars. All right, everybody refresh. Everybody refresh. Six dollars. That was lot number 18, Fabioso. It's YouTube, you think? I was watching the timer. Wish it would stop. Wish it was a stop clock. Just put your highest bid in. That way you don't lose it for two bucks. No, you refresh. I don't need to refresh. I'm on real time. All right. Don't sleep on this one, you guys. Don't sleep on it. It's fire. Fire. Don't sleep on it. Web of Steel. Superman. We sold one of these earlier. Web of Steel. I'm running it. I'm running it. It's fire. Here we go. Starting the timer. There you go. It's running. It's coming at you. You guys, don't worry. I'll change the lingo when I start selling purses and shoes for you women that are in the chat. I'll start saying nice things like pretty and beautiful and elegant. <laughs> I'll use those kind of words. But right now with this kind of stuff, I'm just going to use these kind of words because I think this is what they like. At least that's what I saw that they liked is these kind of words. Christopher's at 12. Don't sleep on it. This is fire, you guys. It's fire. You got Spider-Man on here. You got this guy and Ven Venmon, Ven Om, Ven Om something. It's die cast metal. Let's look at the timer. You still got time. If you're sleeping on it, boys are weird. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Fabioso's at 12. 
don't sleep on it it's done it's done it's sold it's sold folks it's done it's done jonathan gets it fifteen dollars all right the only thing i gotta go do now is go play some rock and roll obnoxious music donna when do you do the purses get a bigger timer <laughs> man right okay lot number 19 who won this um jonathan jonathan got it for 15 dollars number 19 to jonathan Um, and it's Spider-Man. All right. Don't worry, ladies. We're almost done with this box. And I'll only get another box if, if people want me to. I'll ask. <clears throat> it's another chubby. It's a scary looking chubby. It's spring loaded for fast action. It's Spawn. It's America's best-selling comic book. Another chubby, but it's a monster chubby. It's a special edition. It's Tremor, posable action figure. Spawn. Don't sleep on it. This is fire. It's fire. It's spawn. I sold all those bras, Ozma. I already sold them, honey, that, that were in that video. I still have some of the lingerie, but I sold the bras. Okay, I'm going to start the timer. Fire, fire, fire. Fire, fire, fire. It's like, <laughs> Ozma. <laughs> Fast loaded. Ring action. You got it, Fabio. So it's chubby again. It's a nice chubby. <laughs> Andrea. <laughs> Sorry, honey. Susan. Oh, you guys, Susan and Courtney both in the chat. I'm not saying anything wrong, right? Saying the word chubby. <laughs> He's fat. <laughs> That's all I'm saying is that he's fat. Clock's running out, you guys. You're sleeping on this one. Looks like nobody wants a chubby. I can't imagine nobody wants a chubby. Come on, folks. Everybody, everybody wants a chubby once in a while. Let's do it. Let's go, folks. It's done. It's done. Let's see who won it. It's Jonathan. Jonathan gets it for eight. Jonathan knows all about Chubby. He knows he's worth it. All right, this one was spawn. Number 20, Jonathan. Eight dollars. Karen. He's 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 fat. Karen. It's it's a nice way to call fat people. You call them chubby. Oh, thanks, Gloria. <laughs> if you so if you see someone who's heavy and you just say, "Oh, that person's kind of chubby," it sounds nicer <laughs> than you know calling them fat. All right, let's see what's next. Cheryl, you need to refresh. Refresh, everybody. Everybody refresh. Everybody refresh. A little more coffee. We're going to take a little intermission, too, because I want to go. I have some hard-boiled eggs that I boiled over there, and I want to go eat one because I haven't eaten anything. It's 11.32. Usually I have, like, a, something, a little something in my stomach. Okay. X-Man. X-Force. Slashing blade arms. <laughs> X-Men, Marvel, X-Force, 
slashing blade arms. It's kills spree. Exclusive Marvel t-shirt offer inside. I, I doubt you can still, you know, these are probably old. I have no idea. Do I have my glasses? Where's my glasses? Here. Let me see what years these are. I didn't even tell you what years they are. This one is uh, 1994. Pretty old, right? Five dollars start. Let's start the timer. Ready? There you have it. Yep, 94. Exactly, John. I recall something about a fluffer. <laughs> Jonathan. <laughs> Andrew comes in at five. I don't know if this is fire or not. It could be. I mean, it doesn't look that exciting to me, but it could be fire. Don't sleep on it. It could be fire. Is it? Rummage? No comps in the chat. It says X-Men on it. I've sold a lot of X-Men comics. Could be. There's still time left on the clock if you want in on it. Not fire worthy? It's not? Mm -hmm. Well, Jonathan thinks it's worth $7. Oh, no. Gloria is at 9 Gloria. You're buying something that's not fire worthy. Ready? We're going to be sold. Well, Gloria thinks it's fire worthy. Gloria, number 21, honey. Lot number 21 for X-Man. Uh-oh, I just heard a car pull up. Um, if my family comes to say goodbye, I have to just say goodbye to them really quick. Lot tw number 21 sold for... It's a spark. <laughs> Nine dollars. Nine dollars to Gloria. It's X-Man. And this was lot number 21. 21 to Miss Gloria. All right, let's see what else we have here. Ooh. We have another chubby. We got another chubby coming up. Mojo. Not just a chubby. It's a mojo. And there you have it. Look at how happy he is. He's a very happy chubby man. Ew. Ew, stop. Stop. Just stop. Just stop right now. X-Man. Nothing. <laughs> That's right, Gail. Nothing wrong with the chubby every once in a while. Right, Ozma? <laughs> he is nasty. All right. There you go. $5 start on that chubby. Who wants that chubby? Let me know. This is number 22. I know, right? It's gross. Look at him. Who the heck is he? He's nasty. Nasty little chubby man. Ryan Davidson, where the heck have you been, sir? Good to see you. Ryan, I don't know if you've been watching, but we're doing this timer. Once the sand falls down to the bottom... Whoever has the highest bid wins. I'm getting ready to put it in. So if you really want this, put your highest offer in. Put your power bid in. I'm going to be pressing sold right now. Whoever has the highest bid is going to get it. Ryan came in first, Jonathan, for 11. Let me just double check on, yes. Yes. I don't have a two-minute timer. Donatella, check Jessica Ballon registration. Um, Schreiker, are you here? Hi, Ryan. 
Can you do that for me if you're listing in the background? Okay. Number 22 goes to Ryan Davidson. We need a faster timer. This is a one minute timer. Ryan got it for $11 for Chubby. We're going to be on lot number 23. Fast timer is good so we can get to the person's Debbie. I'm almost done with this box. Ooh, it's a vampire. He's interesting looking. This is a one minute. It is a one minute. I checked it. T and I checked it together this morning. She set her timer and she and we set it and it was it's one minute. Okay, this one is called Wet Works. Not to be confused with Chubby. <laughs> Sorry. Wet Works. <laughs> He's awful. He's so hairy. But it has removable armor and it stands at seven and three quarter inches tall. Okay, she hasn't filled it out. All right. Jessica, we can't take bids from you until you fill it out, honey. Right, Jonathan? Shh. Courtney's probably just listening in the background and not watching the chat. All right, the timer started. Put your highest offer in, you guys. Don't sleep on it. You don't want to be sleeping on this one. This one's wet. Works. It's a good one. Looks like a good one to me. Don't know anything about it, but it's fire. It's the bomb. It's awesome. <laughs> Sorry, Cheryl. I'm trying to um I'm trying to do like whatnot. This is yeah, don't sleep on this. Don't sleep on it. Getting ready to put sold in. Put your highest offer. You guys, you're sleeping on it. You're sleeping on it. I'm trying to do like they do on um on whatnot, Cheryl. This is how they do it. So I said in the thumbnail. Why not? Why not? Let's do it like whatnot. Why not? I'm not sleeping on the chubby. <laughs> oh, it's sold. Sold, sold, sold. Don't quit your day job. <laughs> All right. Schreiker, don't drop that because I'm not going back there. I'm staying right here with my friends. Well, I mean, you could drop it. You know, you guys can follow me, but I'm, I'm staying right here. I've, I've decided. All right, who won this? Jonathan came in first for five. Jessica, thank you for becoming a member. But Jessica, that's not necessary, honey. You're supporting just me and the channel. Um, but you, you just need to fill out a registration. But thank you for becoming a member. I really appreciate it. You're going back there. Who are you kidding? I'm not going back there, Schreiker. Okay, this was lot number 23. And who won this? Hold on. Uh, Jonathan won it. Number 23 for $5. Oh, you definitely was sleeping on that. This is a huge toy for $5. I don't know anything about it. I don't know. She said right after she was done, she's never going to do it again. I did. I did. Okay. Let me put the tag on this one. This one is number 23. All right. And there's two left girls. So fear not. This one is the Atomic Ranger Warriors. The Atomic Ranger Warriors. It has extra large, extra large water capacity. 
extra large water capacity shoots up to 20 feet ranger warriors is this like a knockoff of power rangers i don't know ranger warriors are they trying to be like power rangers i have no idea is that what that is hey toilet girl welcome in oh thanks marilyn love you too some get mad because they are losing money who's losing money well they're losing money if they're not if they're not buying stuff i paid 100 for this hoodie and only sold for 40 i bought some stuff there the other night but i i, I bought it for personal use not for resale I think you know if you're buying for personal use i don't know if you if you can make a profit on buying stuff all right the clock started chubby wet and now extra large and shoots 20 feet jonathan jonathan paying attention jonathan's paying attention jonathan <laughs> jonathan's got a jonathan's got a down pat he's got a down pat the man knows what he's talking about <laughs> Debbie's at six. All right. I'm putting the sold in the chat to get ready. Andrew, right? Look at he's so paying attention. Andrew, you paying attention like that too? I don't know. <laughs> I know, Jonathan. All right. We're watching the clock. Who's the high bin on here? It's going to sell. I'm getting ready to press post. You're sleeping on it, guys. You're sleeping on it. It's going to be sold. And it's going to Rummage Raiders. Saxton. Saxton likes that it shoots 20 feet. <laughs> $7, number, lot number 24 to Miss Saxton. All right. Number 24 to Miss Saxton. All right, there's one left, and then we'll switch to something else. But if you guys want me to do more, I will get more and do more. But we'll switch to something else for a little while. This one is called Dragon Heat, and it has a lot of swords and stuff. So let me show it to you. This one's Dragon. Oh, no, Dragon Heart. Dragon Heart. Kara with axe chopping combat cart oh jonathan do you want to you want to be careful of kara jonathan <laughs> you want to be very careful of her she's got all kinds of swords there all right five dollars start on this one you ready there you go all right let me look and see how many thumbs up we have if we can get to a hundred it's only 56. You guys are sleeping on it. There's 82 of you in the chat. Get to 56 and I promise I'll give you a really awesome giveaway. Let me know when it hits 100. There's 83 of you here. Just my type. He likes the action with the swords, the chopping. <laughs> he's, like, he's all about the chopping. All right, Saxton got number 24, and this one is number 25. Hi, KF. I didn't send your scissors because I have the blanket, the quilt, and the curtains that you were asking about down at the mini storage. So I wanted to shoot mm -hmm. you a picture, make sure you wanted those. Okay, mm -hmm. we're sold. Oops, hold on. We're sold, sold, sold to Andrew. Andrew got it for six dollars. First, that was lot number twenty-five. But KF, if you want me to send the scissors, I know we were waiting for you to buy something else. But if you want me to um, send the scissors, I think it's under, well, it was under 30 when I, now it's 40. Um, I can send them for you and charge you shipping. Heather, 
Ah, thank you, Heather. <laughs> You're so sweet. Thanks for the morning entertainment. <laughs> You're so funny. Thank you, Heather. I appreciate it. Let me highlight you. You're a good friend. Thank you. You don't need to do that, honey, but I appreciate it. You're so sweet. Okay. Andrew gets number 25. All right. And we, we did the whole box. All right. So listen, take a little, just take a little bit of an intermission. I'm just going to go peel myself a hard boiled egg right now. And, um, and then I'm going to go look and see what came in today. Well, send me a text for how much is the blankie. I will. I will, honey. Send me a text right now to my phone so I have you way up high um, so that I'll remember when I get off. Hi, Jules. How are you? All right, you guys, take a quick little intermission. Scarlett, I said hi, honey. I don't know. Um, I don't know if you saw. Andrew, did you make a list of everything? Are you all done? You want to pay now? And then if I bring back later, you can you can do it again. You want to just double check? I'll run down the list, okay? And see if you have what I have written down. Andrew, lot number one, five. Lot number two, five. Are you ready, Andrew? Um, lot number five was five. Lot number seven was ten. Lot number eight was six. Lot number ten was ten. That way we can get caught up, right? Um, <clears throat> lot number 11 was six. Lot number 14 was five. Um... How did I not? I wrote Spawn and I didn't write who won it. Lot, I'm going to have to go back. Fabioso 118. Who won number 20? Was either who won number 20? Okay, wait a minute. Let's see. Andrew, number 25 is six. And I didn't write down who won number 20. Who won number 20? Was anybody taking notes? Number 20. I need to go back and watch it. Anyways, that's what I have for you. What was it? Number number 20 was Spawn. Let me see if I wrote it on the um, tag because I've just been writing the lot numbers. But on some of them, I wrote who won it. Number 20 was Spawn for $8. Spawn for $8. Saxton, can you go back and watch the video for me? All right, Andrew, do you have all that? I want the linker. <laughs> Thanks. All good. Okay, good, Andrew. You've got everything. All right. Let me know when you send it. And let me pull this aside. And I will put I will put something on the table. Let's see. For you guys to look at real quick. Let me just bring this to the shipping room. All right, these are beautiful. Let's do these. They are worn. I don't know if I'm gonna do these with the timer or not. They're a beautiful pair of Salvatore Ferragamo Spawn Special Edition went to Jonathan. Awesome, thank you, sweetheart. Thank you for looking, looking for me, I appreciate it. All right, that went to Jonathan. Let me write that down. Jonathan. All right. Thank you, Saxton. I appreciate you. Okay. So these are all size 11. Um, let me make sure. Yes, yeah, size 11. I'm going to put these on the table and I'm just going to go get some fresh coffee and 
These are size 11. They are worn in the bottom. They're beautiful, made in Italy. Looks like there might be some scuffing on them. All right, I'm going to start them at $5 for the Ferragamo. $5. See how she keeps tissue in them to keep the heel, the, 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 the tops of them nice and, and uh, proportioned. They're beautiful. $5 start. I'll be right back. Give me two minutes. Two minutes on the clock. Okay, <clears throat> I'm back. I ate too fast. I just had two um, hard-boiled eggs. Krista, you really didn't miss much. Just um, some stupid toys. Ooh, I'm going to have the hiccups. I ate too fast. Okay. Where are we at on these two on these shoes? Hey, treasure addicts! I did. I ate too fast. <clears throat> KF comes in at twelve. Thank you, Wendy. Okay, just make sure you know that they need to be cleaned up a little bit. Yeah, they were stupid toys. <laughs> oh, you know when you eat too fast and you can feel it like going down like really, really, really slow. Okay, are we going to sell these? No, they don't come with a box. Unfortunately, if I had collectible action figures, <laughs> 
If I had the box, I would show the box. They don't have a box, honey. I'm sorry. Do you still want them? Andrew sent payment. Thank you, honey. Um, do you still want them or do you want to retract for $12? You don't want them? Okay. She doesn't want them. Who was the next bid? Wendy. Wendy, do you want them for nine? No, Wendy doesn't want them for nine either. All right. Mel, do you want them for six? That's okay, KF. Don't worry. If they have a box, you guys, I'll put them on the table with the box. Mel, do you want them for six? Um, Wendy, I don't know what you mean. Okay, no worries out. And then she writes, yep, yep. Mm, does that mean you want them? Let me know. Otherwise, I'll offer them to Mel. Just put, I want, if you want them. And I'll start counting them down. Wendy wants, I think. I think so too, but I'm not sure. Because she said, no worries, I'm out. We we'll need to make a decision. We're going to start. We'll give them to Mel. Okay. Okay. So we're going to go once to Mel. Okay, Mel. We're going to go twice to Mel. And a fair warning to Mel. Okay, we're going to be sold to Mel for $5 for the Ferragamo shoes. What a deal. Deal and a half on that. Good good going. Even without the box, you should be able to sell them for a decent price. Okay, so that is lot number 26. And it's going to Mel for $5. For the shoes I'll just make a slip for it <clears throat> oh finally starting to feel normal again it was like finally going all the way down lot number 26 five dollars <throat> for the shoes all right you guys let me know in the chat if you want me to do some more of the um it is a great deal right Gloria if you want me to do some more of those um <clears throat> superheroes or whatever they're called. Let me see. I'm going to grab something over here. Just a moment. Oh, this is interesting. Let's see what we have here. Oh, this is so nice. This is a nice bag. Okay, we're going to show you this bag in just one minute. Let me take this stuff out of it. If it says something on it. Oh, there's a. So this probably will be for personal use if somebody wants it. Let's see. It says Renardo Realty Trust. Is that a bank? I don't know. But it's a really beautiful athletic. Oh, here. Let me put myself on full screen so you can see it. It's a really beautiful nylon athletic bag <clears throat> oops wrong screen what am i doing i don't even know what i'm doing okay there it is um like a gym bag right or a travel bag a carry-on bag but i'll show you what it says in the back 
because I'm going to open these pockets and see. I'm going to start it at 10. Yeah, it's got like pockets, this netting, that netting part. And then inside, it has a pouch, probably for like wet gear, you know, from going to the gym. It's got all kinds of compartments. I mean, it doesn't look like it's ever been used. And then it has a side carry handle, has a long strap on it. It has little feet on the bottom. And this is what it says. So they were probably given away as like a promotional item. Realty Trust, probably a bank. $10 start. Yeah, Christy, $10 start is good. I mean, I think it's a beautiful bag. The quality of it is really, really nice. You know, I would tell you if it wasn't. But you can see like this side of it. This, this side of it is kind of like textured. Let me see if you can see with the light. Can you see it? The pattern? And then it's all kind of like insulated. And yeah. This almost like, one side of it almost feels like thermosy. Maybe not. It's got all kinds of, oh, you can get, Oh no, that's a separate pocket. It's got pockets on the side. Oh. You can get you can get into it from the side flap too, see? And it's got these vented holes. Probably just so that you know your gym stuff will breathe. I'll put it on the table. So you can get a better look at it. It looks like it's black. It looks like it's a little bit off the color on the table. Yeah, it's Nike. I always say Nike, but it's Nike. I know. I know the difference, but I always say I always say Nike, uh, Nike when it's supposed to be Nike. And I don't know why I do that, but I do. It's pretty, right? It's a good looking bag. Let me give you the dimensions on it. Use for as a dance bag, overnight bag, etc. Right? Absolutely. Thank you, Michelle. So let's see, it is Christie's out. It's 18 by 10 and a half. 18 by 10 and a half, and we have Heather at 16. And if everybody's done and done, we'll count it down to Heather. And we're going to go once to Miss Heather. We're going to go twice. And fair warning, everyone. And we're going to be sold for $16 to Heather. Lot number 27, $16, Heather B. Thank you, Heather. Okay. All right, let me go get something else. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so <clears throat> these purses came from Mrs. Sack's house, that eloquent woman. And apparently this designer was a friend of hers. So let me show you the name of the designer. I don't know if it has any value. Ashnail. Ashnail is the designer and I'll show you the bag. And then I'll put it on the table. This is the bag. It's all leather. It's beautiful. I'm going to show it to you on the table. I'm going to start this at, um, I'll start it at 20. Ash Neal. And it looks vintage. She had all the stuffing in it. I'm taking all the stuffing out of it. I mean, it is just beautiful. Ash Neal. It's all leather. Look at the front of it. It's beautiful. So it has all those compartments in it. It has one, two, three, four, and five, and the zippered part is six. Ash nail. No damage. Absolutely beautiful. The leather's amazing. It's like glove leather. Stitching is beautiful. The hardware is pretty ordinary. I don't know anything about this purse or this designer. <clears throat> Nothing at all. All I know is that it came from Mrs. Sack's house and you know how eloquent she is and how beautiful her things were. And this was a close and personal friend of hers, this Ash Neal. <clears throat> Excuse me. Remember the leather pocketbooks you sold a while ago? You did the head in the bag sniff test. Yes, I love it. All right, we have Ozma at 40. Thank you, Ozma. Sharon, you need to refresh, honey. I don't know if you're... Yeah, thank you so much, Gloria, for posting that. And Jonathan needs to refresh, too. Mel comes in at 42. Uh, Saxton, what's what's the term? Jonathan's out. Mel's at 48. <clears throat> what's the term? Oh, run it. You guys, if there's something in particular that you want me to run, <laughs> if there's something in particular that you want me to run, let me know and I'll run it. You guys know what I have and I'll run it. Osma's at 50. We're going to start calling it down. Mel is out. Sorry, I've got a frog in my throat. <clears throat> you want more action figures? Coach, Louis Vuitton. I don't think I have any Louis Vuittons. Actually, I don't even know what's over there. I thought I had one more Louis Vuitton somewhere. Hmm. Debbie, did you buy one of the last Louis Vuittons that I sold? You missed most of them? There was a lot of them. More of these, please, Ozma. <laughs> More purses. Okay. Oops, I just got a text message. I don't know who texted me. All right, we're going to go once. Ozma's buying this for $50. We're going once. We're going twice. 
puppet guy behind you. That I was gonna put that on Bolo Buddies on um, eBay to sell for a bolo. I looked him up, Christopher. I did. I just haven't had time to list them. I don't have any bolos to be on Bolo Buddies video this uh, this month because I have I have nothing listed. All right, we're gonna be sold to Miss Ozma. Sold, sold, sold for $50. So if you thought that one was pretty, this one is gorgeous. And these are the only two Ash Neils that I have. Um, there was two of them over there. Unless there's another one in one of those other boxes or something. But this one, I have to put myself on big screen so that you can see it, is amazing. Okay, look at this one. It's in perfect condition. Look at how beautiful this one is. It's absolutely gorgeous. I can't tell you enough about the leather on these. I'm going to start this one at 50. Okay? Because, because it's that gorgeous. It's really, really, really beautiful. Okay, so Ozma's going to get this one. And I don't have a I don't have a dust cover for this one. Guys, I only have just the purse. But it is, when I tell you, look at the work on this purse. Are you kidding me? Look at how beautiful it is. Look, that's the strap. Jessica, thank you. Thank you, Shriker, for looking. Um, thank you, Jessica. Welcome to the family, Jessica. I know, Michelle, isn't it beautiful? OMG. Okay, let's look at the bottom. Looks like a little bit of a crease, maybe where she was, you know, stowing it in the closet. Not damaged, just creased. Look at this. Oh, my God, it's beautiful. Okay, let's look inside. Let me just put the tripod up a little bit, you guys. If, for those of you get, that get motion sickness, close your eyes for just one minute while I do this. I'm just pulling my tripod up. So that we can see these items a little bit better. Francine, it is so gorgeous. It is so gorgeous. All right, so let's look at the inside of it. Look at how beautiful. I'm gonna make sure all the zippers work too. Ash nail. Right? That zipper works perfect. And that zipper works perfect. And it is honestly like it's probably like calf leather because it is so soft. And I love, I love the little, the flower rivet. And look at this. Look at how beautiful this is. All that detail. Ozma, boom. Thank you, Ozma. I know, right? You can. You can smell the buttery leather. It's so beautiful. Truly, truly, like, incredibly beautiful. Incredibly beautiful. Christy's out. The camera really is doing it justice. This is fire! <laughs> I love you guys. You guys, this is fire. This is fire! Come on, don't sleep on this. Don't sleep on it. It's fire. It's fire, you guys. All right, we're going to sell it to Ozma. It's kind of hard to do that with all this luxury. When you're selling luxury, it's hard to yell like fire and stuff. <laughs> we'll go back to yelling fire if I show some more of those stupid um, toys. Run it up. Let's go. 
<laughs> okay, we're going to start counting it down. We're going to go once. Miss Ozma is loving these bags. We're going to go twice. And with a fair warning. <laughs> We're going to be sold, 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 sold to Miss Ozma for $100 for the fire. She bought the fire. All right. So she bought lot number 28 for 50 for the um, Schneel. Schneel? Schneel bag, Ozma. And lot number 29 goes to Ozma for the Schneel for 100. I don't think I need to. What I'm picturing, if the girls were in the room with you, they would be saying, Mom, stop with the fire. <laughs> they would. You have cottage cash in the exact amount of this invoice. Okay, awesome. Let's put cottage cash. I will look. All right, Ozma. Lot number 29, 150 cottage cash. Ozma, thank you, honey. Beautiful, beautiful bags. Good for you. So it was almost like, for those of you that don't know what cottage cash, it's Sh Shamil Shlomazo. <laughs> so for those of you that don't know what cottage cash is, so she was just able to, so I run these campaigns where I do cottage cash. And a lot of you that have been my customers for a long time, you know, where I sell cottage cash and I do like different increments. The last one I did was buy a hundred dollars worth of cottage cash and get a hundred and fifty dollars to the auction so basically she paid for this one and got this one for free so that's pretty awesome right so that's how cottage cash works you remember that show i love that show donna dollars i know i know saxton liked it saxton wanted me to call it donna dollars and uh, Schreiker said cottage cash. Purse. This one comes in a vintage coach box. Vintage pins today. I have some vintage pins. I could probably do a small lot of pins. I don't have that many. I need to. I need to get more. I I, I need to get more from that um that antique um store in Manhattan from that lady that I buy things from. Okay, so this is a vintage coach box. Um, Debbie, I do it. I kind of, I don't make an announcement that I do it. I do it kind of like on the QT because a lot of people buy my cottage cash because it's a really good deal. So if I make an announcement, like I usually have to put a cap on it. Like the last time I did it was when I had my milestone, um, when I hit 5,000 subscribers and I ended up giving away $2,400 in cottage cash. It gets cray cray with the cottage cash. It does. And I had to like put a stop on it. Like I had to like, I, I, I get to a point where I'm like, you know, that's enough. Um, but I might do it. I might do it. I might do it. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> okay. So let me put this on the screen and I'll show you this purse. Now this purse, I just looked at it and right out of the gate, I can tell you it needs to be cleaned. Um, so a good leather cleaner is probably all you need. It looks like it's a vintage coach. Let me see if there's anything in here. 
Yeah, she looks like she kept it nice in the box. And you can see the leather is beautiful, but it just, it has a couple of little spots on it. So you definitely want to um, clean it. It's a uh, few scratches on the buckle and here's your registration on it. I'm going to start this at 25. Let's pull the lining out and take a look at it, see if there's good, any damage or any anything on it. Nope. All right, let's take a look around the back side of it, see if there's anything. That looks all good. That looks all good. It has its tag. I love the buttery yellow color. It's so pretty. Ooh, that, that closes really nicely. Did you see that? It's magnetic. Look. Wait, it just closed really quick. Well, maybe it was just the way it was. It closed so quickly. Oh, must have a mag. Oh yeah, it's got it's got a magnet inside here. Look, see how it grabs onto that. Let's check the bottom of it. A little bit of wear, very little. And the back side of it, again, just needs a little bit of cleaning, but it's a beautiful vintage purse. It has the, it has the long, the long strap. And it has the short strap. Very pretty. And there you have it. Look at that yellow. It's beautiful. Mama comes in at 25. If there's no other interest, we'll start. Sorry, stepped away. Brand. It's a coach. It's a vintage coach, Osma. But it has um, it just needs to be cleaned. It just needs a little bit of cleaning. It's it's in excellent condition. Judy Knight comes in at 30. Thank you. It's a really pretty uh, yellow. It, I think it's a lot brighter on the screen than it is an actual person. It's, um, it's, it's more of a buttery yellow on this one. This is lot number 30. And it is a coach. Christopher likes it for 50. Thank you, Christopher. Mama is out. All right, we've got Christopher at 50. Judy's out. Christopher Power Bids. We're going to go once. He does have an outfit to match. I've seen it. No, I'm joking. We're going to go twice. <laughs> Fair warning. And we are going to be sold to Mr. I Buy Chit for $50. For the yellow coach very nice very very nice thank you christopher so much appreciate it lot number 31 is going to be coming up next it's got the nice old vintage box all right Let me go see what else I can grab you. Oh, 
these are gorgeous. All right, here I come with another gorgeous pair of Bergamos. Love them. Size 11. Look at those. They are worn. Slipping mules. Very pretty. <clears throat> All right, you guys, how about a $15 start on these? They're absolutely beautiful. Right, Francine? They're so beautiful. I don't know who that was that just texted me. I'll read it later. Um, let's see. Ozma comes in at 20. Mel comes in at 30. They're all size 11. The woman wore an 11. So they're all size 11. Ozma is out. We're going to call it down to Mel for 30. We're going to go once. Is everybody done and done? Debbie, are you done? Who else is bidding? Just Mel. Mel and Debbie. Debbie, an out from you would be great. Oh, Debbie comes in at 32. That's okay. No, it's a backup one. We got a high bid of $34 from Mel. She's so bad. Is that, did you leave the front door open? No. Nope. Gabrielle is coming in. Okay. 36 to Debbie. Thank you, Debbie. Debbie's out. Mel is at 38. All right. We're going to go once to Mel. We're going to go twice to Mel. And with a fair warning, we're going to be sold, sold, sold. Mel for $38. Congratulations, Mel. All right, I need to mark these. So just give me one second, folks. Nice shoes, really beautiful. All right, bear with me just one second while I go grab you something else. Sock, I found you. Yeah. 
Mama, we got you a sandwich. Did you get it? Thank you, honey. Is it? Yes, thank you. Okay, guys, I have another purse here. It does show some damage. Let me see what brand name it is. Oh, it's a coach. It's a coach. Unfortunately, it shows some damage, and I'm going to show you probably from just use. However, it does have, let me see if this can be removed. You know, I almost would. Okay, let me show you. Let me show you what I have. Um, if if I were the buyer, I almost would cut. So the straps on it are really worn. But so what I would do is I would cut these straps off here. I would cut that strap and that strap off. I mean, it's not really that that bad. But look what you have that's brand new that's never been used. This beautiful strap. Right? I'll show you the blue is amazing so you can use let's see yeah I'll just put this in here okay so you can use like the crossbody on it so this strap here is brand new I'll show you up close on the camera but this strap here where it was carried is pretty badly damaged but I'll show you the purse and the, the bottom of it is really beautiful, too. And I'll show you up close on the other camera. And the inside of it is spotless. It's like, how does a pocketbook remain so spotless like this with it being used that much? So look at the inside of it. It's beautiful. And this is the, um, this is the serial number on it. And I'm going to start this at 20. And here's the coach tag. And here's the coach logo. And look at the bottom. The bottom is beautiful. And it's a nice size. It's a very nice size. Girls, I'm live. And look at the strap. The strap is like, it's never been used. See, it's like brand new. And the lining is like untouched. Like nothing was ever put inside of it. So the inside is beautiful. The outside is beautiful. The only problem with this purse is the strap. I almost want to say it was a, a defect that it would fall apart and be dirty. Like, why? how would it get so dirty when the rest of the purse is, like, brand new? It's so strange, right? I can't imagine she had dirty hands carrying it. I don't know how or why that would happen. It's very puzzling to me. But anyways, that's what I would do. I would just remove that and just use this long strap as your purse handle on it. Isn't it beautiful? The color blue is like a it's like a beautiful sky blue maybe with a little bit of hint of turquoise maybe on it. The chauffeur carried that bag with his greasy hands. Something, right? All right. This is lot number 32, and it is the coach blue. And we have Francine at $32. I'm going to go get something else while you guys bid on that.
All right, let's see. Francine, I wonder if Coach would replace the straps. It's probably a retired color, though. That would be the only thing. Could cover that part with handles with some cording fabric. Oh, good, good call on that. Could use a fabric glue, Francine. Yeah, you could probably do that. I would probably just cut them off. I would cut these off and just and just use the long strap. Linda's out. Francine's at 32. Okay, Francine, we're going to go once. And we're going to go twice. And with a fair warning, they are going to be sold, sold, sold to Miss Francine. For $32. Oh, shoot. Christopher came in at 40. So I'm going to, whoopsie, I'm going to retract this bid. Hold on. Let me go on. I'm going to retract. I'm going to remove that and give Francine. Christopher tried to snipe it. Hi, Joanna. Francine, do you want to come back in at 42? Oh, no, Francine won it. Francine won it. I've got Christopher at 40 and Francine at 42. Francine, you giving it to Christopher? Christopher's out. All right, Francine. Francine, guess who just walked in the door? Francine. It's David. <laughs> He's here to say goodbye. My mother-in-law standing here next to me too. She's coming in to say goodbye. Okay. I just didn't want to make a mistake because of the other night. Oh, I love it. No, no, no. Wait a minute. Francine, you have an option to come back in. No, wait. Christopher's out. Francine won it for $42. All right. Sold to Francine. Let me just write sold in the chat, please. Fire. <laughs> okay. Francine gets the beautiful purse for $42. Thank you, Francine. Thank you, Christopher, for your bid. Don't make me laugh with David. <laughs> you want it. You got it, sweetheart. You got it. I just showed my mother-in-law your picture, too. I think she approves Francine. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put something on the table for you guys to look at while I say goodbye to my in-laws and my brother-in-law one more time and my mother-in-law, okay? These are absolutely beautiful shoes. Hold on, I'm going to tag that blue coach in one second. You guys, go ahead and look them up. I have no idea. It's a Seto Miucci, Seto Miucci. And they passed the scratch test. The inside of them is all leather. They are size 11. These also came from Mrs. Sachs' beautiful collection of items. I'm going to put this on full screen. Look at these. Look at how beautiful these are. Italian-made shoes. Nothing like them. Absolutely beautiful. Size 11. Gloria says hello to my mother-in-law. I would invite her on the screen, but she's shy. She probably won't come on the screen, but I'll ask her if she wants to come on. But she's probably shy. All right, I'm going to put myself... Do you want to say hi? Do you want to say hi? You will? Okay. Here's my mother-in-law, guys. This is my, my mother-in-law. This is Joanna. This is the... This is the original Mrs. Bottolino. <laughs> she says bot she says Bottolino. Bottolino. I, I say Bottolino. <laughs> There's Chazzy. It's a family. It's a family affair. <laughs> we have 70 people in the room right now. So Hi, here. Everyone. So Gail says, hello, mom in law. Michelle. This is Michelle P. She's from Australia. Oh, hi. She says hello. And Gail is from Orlando. Oh, she wow. says hi. Hi, everyone. And Karen, I don't remember where you no. live. And Clearwater, <laughs> I don't remember where you live either. And Debbie, I don't know where you are. And Heather. Oh, Hello, mother in law. <laughs> Heather's up in. Um, Heather's like, is she going to get it right? I hit, I, hit, I hit a wall. 
Okay. Bye, everyone. Okay. I'm going to go say goodbye to my in laws. They're getting ready to hit the road, Jack. And didn't you ever come back? No. Oh, she's <laughs> she's oh, no. All right, you guys. Look at these shoes. I'm going to put myself on pause while I say goodbye to everybody, and I'll be right back.
good. I'm though. sorry, you guys. Lots of tears. My, um, my, how old, how old is Natalie? 17 or 16? 16. 16. My 16. No, Aunt B, I'm sorry. I, I stepped away. I stepped away to say goodbye to my family. My family came down from Maine to visit. And I, I told everybody that, um, I would be right back. But my, um, my 16 year old niece wants to come in. Um, next year is her senior year. She wants to come here and transfer and do her senior year here and come live with us here in Florida. So there was a lot of tears. It's going to be, hi, Cece. I'll take her, of course. I mean, I've had exchange students. You know, I've had lost kids that have been thrown out of their houses come stay with us. I'm that house. Like, I, I, I just constantly just take people in. Oh, I've been that way for years and years and years. I mean, those of you that do the same thing, you totally can understand. But I've always been that house where I'm just like, sure, you can come stay with us. Um, so we'll see. We'll see if her mom allows it because, you know, they're, um, they're separated. Hi, Pamela. Welcome in. Okay. Do we have any bids on these, you guys, or do you want to pass on them? Oh, thanks, Francine. You too, Mama Beth? Yeah, always. Thank you, Aunt B. Yeah. Hey, Magic Lady. Welcome in. Yeah, it was nice. I didn't I didn't get a chance to spend as much time as I would like to with them, but the girls were here a lot. My mother-in-law was at the house. She loves to organize and stuff. So she just she she just told me that she reorganized all of the kitchen cabinets, which they didn't really need to be organized. But that's how she's always been. <laughs> she's that's just the way she is. Okay, there's size 11, you guys, and here's the name if you want to look them up. That's the name on them. They've got a rubber sole. They're espadrilles. They're in excellent condition. And I think that a $10 start is fair um, on these. She's um, she's really funny. Like, so every time I had my babies, my, mo my mother-in-law would move in with us. I mean, she only lived... Um, she lived about an hour away. This is when we lived in Boston, but we had a really big house. So she would come and she would stay with me for two months after the birth of each one of my children so that I could like, I could nurse the new baby and she would take care of the other children. And so she'd come and she would move in and she would, um, you know, help me with everything, the cleaning, the cooking, the laundry, the taking care of the kids. And she's doing that now with David because David's a single parent and she's living with him just part time. She has a beach house up in Ogunquit um, that she still goes to um, in the summer months. She's there for six months um, on the beach. Um, but I would hear her like I would sometimes I would like go out into the kitchen and like load the dishwasher and then, you know, I'd go back into the bedroom, you know, take care of the baby and nurse the baby or whatever. And I'd hear her out in the kitchen, like uh, reorganizing the dishes and the dishwasher. <laughs> she was so funny. Like she would like, she, she's a neat freak. Right. So she would like, Things always had to be done her way. So she was, she spent a lot of time at the house. She, she doesn't go, she does, she's right on the beach, but she doesn't really go down to the beach much. And so she was happy with just being at the house and taking care of stuff. And um, David did a lot with Massimo. Ricky and I both worked a lot, even with them being here. We neither one of us took any time off, really. I think I think my husband took like two days off to spend with his brother and his mom. You know, sometimes you just can't. You know, just because I'm self-employed doesn't mean that I can just forget about my responsibilities and just go off. You know, so all right, we're gonna count these down. Ten dollars. We're gonna go once. How nice of her. Sounds like how my mother was. One time when she was over, I went into the other room for something and she came back to find her on her hands and knees cleaning the tracks of the slider glass doors. That's my mother-in-law. That's how she is. Going twice. That's just how she is. Fear warning. My mother 
completely the opposite. She'd hire someone to do it. <laughs> and we're sold to Mel for ten dollars. Ooh, Wendy came in. She just came in. Thank you, Wendy. And Tammy hasn't come back, has she? Oh, I'm so upset about that. If anybody is any, if anybody, I should probably send her an email. If anybody is friends with Tammy, tell her I've been shouting her out to publicly apologize to her for the other night. I don't know what I was thinking. I just wasn't understanding it. All right, we've got Wendy Mel. Let us know, honey, if you want to come in at 14. Mel wants to come in at 14. Thank you, Mel. Poor Natalie was crying. She didn't want to leave. I feel so bad. David won't put her on a plane by herself. He doesn't, he doesn't like to fly, and he doesn't want to put his daughter on a plane. Wendy's at 16. Oh, she was here yesterday? I didn't see her in the chat. Oh, gosh, I missed it. Or did I say hi to her, and it didn't even dawn on me? Wendy, no, they're not Gucci. They're Miucci. They're Miucci, M-E-U-C-C-I. -E um, so David's girls are 2, 10, and 16. 2, 10, and 16. Wendy's like, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> she was joking. <sighs> Oh, these are size 11. They're from Mrs. Sex. They're from her collection of beautiful shoes. They're size 11. I'll show them. I'll hold them up to the camera so that you can see how beautiful they are. They're espadrilles. Wendy's out. And the inside is all leather. Um, I might go off now and do a little bit of shipping. I don't know. I was debating on whether or not to even do shipping today. I might take I might take off the day of doing shipping. I have to go out and do a couple of errands, actually, so I might do that and then um, come back on for a late night. Um, yeah, they're in great condition. Oh, she was on Brian's yesterday. Okay. Can you tell me how much I owe you? Yes, Jonathan. I'll run down the list, honey. All right. We're going to close these. Wendy's out and Mel is at 18. And we're going to start going once. And I am going to go off for those of you that like to go and hang out at Mr. Buys a lot. He usually goes on at that one o'clock time slot. So if you want to go and hang out with him, um, and maybe I'll come back on after he goes off just to respect airtime. Um, and we're going to be sold to Mel for $18. One more lot of shoes. Are these your size? Donna, what was my lot number and do I have anything else there? I forgot. I bought from T yesterday, so I get confused. Just send me an email and I will pay. All right, Francine. I don't think you do, honey. Um, let's see. This is going to Mel and it's for $18. Lot number 34. And I probably, if I come on tonight, I'll do some more. Um, oh, Nina, you're so sweet. Love you too, sweetheart. Hope you come back on. Yeah, if I come on tonight, I'll do more of those action figures because I, I, I spent a lot of money on them and I'd like to blow them out. So, okay, so those are from Mel. Let me just put lot number 33 on those. Um, I just thought that they would be, you know, it wasn't a super score for me, trust me, but I thought it would be a nice element to bring to the auction. All right, I'll do one more pair of shoes. These are amazing.
bring the heat, right, Saxton? I'm going to. All right, let me. Oh, I wish these fit me. These are so awesome. Let me see. From wearing um oh they're so pretty. I love them. I'm really like I'm really like an eleven and a half. Okay, so these Vanelli. Eleven and a half Osmo. Look at how pretty these are. All studded. Are they new? Mm, almost new. Oh, off to work. A twelve hour in the ER. Have a wonderful evening. Wish I was off tonight so I could catch the late night goodies. Oh, try to could try to tune in, honey. And thank you so much for your service, Tre Treasure Addict. Thank you so much for being an ER nurse, doctor, technician, whatever you do there. Thank you so much for being there for us when we have an emergency. We really appreciate you. Dion, hi. Welcome in. If you ever get size 13 women's, let me know. My daughter is six foot one and wears a 13. Okay. Um... I just saw someone else, Susan K. First time viewing one of your auctions. I will be, I'll get the hang out of it. You seem very patient. Ah, thank you, Susan. Thank you for being here. You guys, welcome, Susan. Susan, fill out a registration form at the top, honey. If um, if you wanna, that way, if you see something, you'll be all filled out and ready to bed. Okay, so there's your shoes. Look at how beautiful they are. So this is. This feels like um, it's suede, you guys. It's not cloth. This in here is suede. Let's see what it says on the box. Yeah, it's black suede. Ooh, they're called Susan. For the new Susan that's in the chat. Oh, my gosh. They're so beautiful. They're beautiful. And these are all metal studs. They're metal on here metal on suede gorgeous timeless right these are like one of those timeless pairs of shoes and like brand new condition a little dusty Very beautiful. And these also came from Mrs. Sachs. Beautiful Mrs. Sachs. All right, we've got Francine at 22. Thanks, you guys, for welcoming Susan. Michelle P., let us know, honey, if you want to advance. And Marilyn, let us know also. We'll just give it another minute, see if we get some outs. If not, we're going to start calling it down. Wasn't she neener? I love it. I loved that. Okay, Michelle P's out, and so is Marilyn. We're going to count it down. Thank you, ladies. We're going to go once. We're going to go twice. And with a fair warning, we're going to be sold, sold, sold. Thank you so much, Francine. Let me just write that down real quick. 
That is lot number 34. Okay, Jonathan Alfaro, you want me to give you a count? Are you still here? Um, Hello. Of what I have for you? Is Jonathan still here? Let me know if he's still listening. He's probably working in the background. Okay, uh, Jonathan, you have lot number six was Catwoman for $7. Then you had lot number nine was X-Man for $10. And then lot number 12 was $7. Number 13 was Batman for $8. And I thought, Jonathan, I thought, didn't Christopher win Licky? I have Licking. Oh, that must have been Dino for $10. Lot number 17 for $10. And then you have lot number 19, Spider-Man for $15. And lot number 20, Spawn for $8. <laughs> and that wet something <laughs> was uh, lot number 23 for 5 right? Let's see. And let's see. That's it, Jonathan. That's all of you, honey. That's all you got. Okay, Susan, thank you. Oh, you're a friend of Courtney's. Awesome. Courtney sends all her friends over. Thank you so much for coming over and here's your wrench. Thank you for the registration. Now don't forget when you're registered with me, you're also registered with T auctions for you. And um, you don't need to send another registration. Her link is down below. We go live on each other's channels almost every day. Mel, you bought a uh, lot number 31 shoes for $38. And then you bought lot number 26. Shoes for five dollars. I think that's all you bought, right? I don't think you were here for the start of the show. I think you came in on the shoes. Well, you may, may have been here, but weren't buying. Most of the front pages are just Jonathan, Fabioso, and um, Andrew. Oh, Mel Spawn, sixteen dollars. You were here. $16 lot number four, Mel. Lot for the coach, Francine. The blue coach you bought was $42, and it was lot number 32. And then the shoes were lot number 34. And I didn't write down what they sold for. $22 for the shoes. Are you even ready yet? Okay. Now, listen, guys, if there's anybody in the chat that needs their stuff out right away, just give me a holler. Um, if not, I'm going to do today's orders, yesterday's orders, and tonight's orders and try to combine them all so that I can save on shipping and send them out. thought I had three pairs of shoes. You had lot number 31 for $38, lot number 33 for $18, and lot number 26 for $5. Yes, honey, you did. I'm sorry. I missed one. Yes, you had three. Three pairs. Thank you. Thank you. Um, okay. So reach out to me. If you want me to get something um, out for you, like right now, before the postman comes, he's going to be coming any minute. That's why I'm getting off, because I'm going to get all my packages ready. Okay. All right, Andrew. Thanks. Cut. Try to come back tonight, honey. You might see... You might see more stuff. I'm going to try to do the same kind of, you know, maybe countdown thing. 
Um, Mel says, no hurry to. All right, you guys are great. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. There's my phone number. Shriker just dropped it. So thank you, Shriker, for dropping it. Um, if you have any questions, and there's my email. You can just reach out to me. If you have something sitting on the shelf or if you need something right away, just please reach out to me. And I'm going to go and finish up my whatnot shipping. And I have a whole bunch of packages here ready to run out the door that are I shipped out um, yesterday afternoon before we came live. So thank you so much for hanging out with me. Okay, Mel, thanks. Thank you so much for hanging out for me, with me. I really appreciate it. I love you guys. Mr. Buys a Lot is coming on right now, or he probably already is on. You can go over and tell Pam I said hello and that I sent you. That would be great. And um, we'll see you tonight. All right? I'll put up a stream. We'll, we'll do a little bit of a late night one. I have a lot of people that like the late night, and I haven't done a late night in a while. Unless something happens between now and then, I don't know. Marilyn, we'll see you at Mr. Buys a Lot. Bye, Nina. Bye, everybody. Ciao for now. Francine, let me know if you want David's phone number. Could be sister-in-law someday. Who knows? Could happen. Strangest things have happened. Stranger things have happened. <laughs> right? Rubber stamps for sure, Marilyn. Bye. I love you guys.